Hello everyone. Today we will be discussing about some basics of automata. First we start off with some identities. The following identities hold for all languages A, B and C. A union B is same as B union A. A union B union C is equivalent to A union B union C. Phi into A is equivalent to A into Phi is Phi. Epsilon into A is equal to A into Epsilon is A. A union B union C is equal to A union B in concatenation with A union C. Likewise, A union B in concatenation with C is equivalent to A union C in concatenation with B union C. These are some important symbols which we need to consider. First, we start off with phi. Phi is the empty language which is a set containing zero strings. Please remember, phi is not a string. Epsilon is a string which is empty and the length of this string is zero. Epsilon is not a language. If we put epsilon in curly braces, it is a language containing exactly one string which has length zero and epsilon in curly braces is not empty and it is not a string. Now, if we talk about clean closure, that means A star or L star, any language which we have, the following identities hold for clean closure. L star is equal to epsilon union L plus. L plus is positive closure that means L ranging from 1 up to infinity. This is also equivalent to L star into L star. Likewise, it is equivalent to L union epsilon whole star and L or epsilon whole star. Further, it is equivalent to epsilon union L union L plus union L plus. It is all the way same. So, that means these all identities hold for clean closure. If we have 0 or 1 star, it means any combination of 0 and 1 along with epsilon. Now we talk about automata for A star. If we talk about A star, that means value of A can range from 0 up to infinity. So this is the automata which we have. We have start state as final state in this case and we have a loop of A. If we have A 0, that means we have only start state that is epsilon. If we have a1, this means that we have value of a as 1 only. So, if on the other hand, if we talk about a to the power 2, that means this will be repeated twice. On the other hand, if we talk about the automata for a plus, it will have at least 1 a and it will range from 1 to infinity. So, in this case, we do not have epsilon. So, there is one state from Q0 to QF on A compulsorily length 1 followed by A star. Now, we talk about representations for A or B whole star. We say that A or B star is a universal string. If we talk about A or B to the power 0, that means neither A nor B, we will have only epsilon. If we talk about a or b to the power 1, that means we can have two possible combinations. One is a, another is b and the string which will be accepted is a or b. On the other hand, if we talk about a or b to the power 2, this means a or b into a or b. So, we can have four possible combinations a a, a b, b a or b b and the strings which will be accepted will likewise be a a, a b, b a or b b. On the other hand, if we say a b to the power 3, that means a b into a b into a b. So, we can have 2 to the power 3, that is 8 combinations in all, a a a followed by a a b and so on up to triple b. All these strings which will be accepted have been put on the right side of the coin. Now, what is the difference between 0 or 1 star and 0 or 1 plus? If we talk about 0 or 1 whole star, that means we will have string ranging from 0 up to infinity. On so, in this case, we can have any combination of 0 and 1 along with epsilon. On the other hand, we will have any combination of 0 and 1 except epsilon in 0 or 1 plus. Please remember 0 star or 1 star is not equal to 0 or 1 whole star. 0 star or 1 star means that string will have only zeros including epsilon or only ones including epsilon whereas 0 or 1 star means any combination of zeros and 1 including epsilon. If we have to design a DFA for 0 1 star or 1 0 star 
the first machine which comes into mind is something of this type but when we analyze we identify in in this case if we start off with 0 we move towards 1 and come back to 0 we have covered 0 1 but now we can move on 1 from 0 to 2 and come back to 0 again so this is not a dfa for 0 1 whole star or 1 0 whole star instead this is a dfa for 0 1 or 1 0 whole star so if we see it broadly this is how it works it can move from 0 1 to 1 0 and likewise from 1 0 to 0 1 so if we want to generate the dfa for 0 1 star or 1 0 star we have to design a machine of the type which is given on the right side this particular slide clearly indicates what is the difference between the two dfas the dfa on the left side represents 0 1 or 1 0 whole star whereas dfa on the right side represents 0 1 star or 1 0 whole star that means it will move either in the loop of 0 1 or in the loop of 1 0 so this is how it will move if we start from 0 and we move towards 1 0 then we will have a move from 0 to 1 on 1 and we will keep on moving in upper side of the dfa on the other hand if we start from st start state and we move with the 0 we will move towards 3 and then we will start moving towards the lower end of the dfa and here we will have a string of 0 1 only so this is the difference between 0 1 star or 1 0 star and 0 0 and 0 1 or 1 0 whole star